Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem and Sacred Stones Lunatic Mode, Chapter 10. We're still stuck here, we're still getting wrecked, but we'll surely find our way out. Raisins, help, the chapter is difficult. Ah, yeah, I know the chapter's kind of hard, uh, but no, here we are. Uh, we've gotten thumped a couple times, and we've gone back to our safe state a couple times, and we've kind of deliberated what to do here. I think, I don't know if we, I, I, I really can't remember if Mecca and I... Uh, last time we talked about it, did it on camera, mm, or yeah, did. if uh, we did it like off camera, just kind of privately to each other through DMs or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, I think, reached the conclusion that even though getting this night crest is pretty fun, we'd mm. rat if we could cho only choose between the night crest or the hero crest here, we would want to go for the hero crest, right? Yes, I think I agree with you because the hero crest promotes Joshua, where's the night crest? I mean, it promotes Kyle, and that's probably going to be about it. And we get another night crest from Vigard anyway if we want to promote Amelia or something. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I mean, it sucks, but it's gonna, it's gonna be really hard to get both. Because if we try to protect the knights, the knight's gonna go on this stupid village, and then the ballista boat stops Tana from getting the village and or getting the knight off. We just have a better turn economy if we just get the hero crest now. So, were we thinking of having FM recruit and then do so grabs the crest? So we could do that, but is there a way that like maybe Tana grabs the crest? I don't know if there's a one, way two, that that three, can work four, out. five, and then where she go, right? So she could go six, seven off to the east, right? I mean, that's still an oh, range of a hand axe. Here? Or yeah, she could I guess. go to she could go to Dusel Square, right? Like maybe Ephraim could oh. talk to Dusel, and then Dusel could just go right. Hmm. You know, he won't be able to rescue Ephraim and do the whole like wall thing that we did the other time, but right. he would at least vacate the square for Tana, right? Yeah, is Tana okay here? I guess she kind of is, because she'd be on a square where no hand axes can, can see her. Because uh, the only hand axe guy is here. So, yeah, hmm. I guess we just go like to right, because that's also closer to the action, so I think that makes more sense than trying to do Dusel Square. And just grab yeah, it Yeah, no, now. for sure. She's going here. I actually really like that square, yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. It's, it's kind of similar to the square we went to in order to get this rescue drop done in the first place. Okay, so now we did that. Obviously, Ephraim have to go to the, either one of these squares to grab Dusel. And I guess Dusel just gets his stuff from Convoy and just starts wrecking stuff here, like normal. Like, just use the Iron Lance again, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or... No, he doesn't one-shot with the Silver. There's no point in using the Silver. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. just use it. Force the fighters, if they want to fight, you know, up over Triangle, they have to fight Dusel. That seems like a pretty good deal. Right, so go here... And then Dusel. I guess Dusel can't attack if we have him grab weapons from Ephraim this turn. Well, like, I mean, that's fine because we'll just enemy phase anyway, right? Because, yeah. like, look at this combat. Well, it's just. If we equip the iron, it's iron probably fine. Anyway. Yeah. The thing is, like, if, he, if we don't attack him, he's going to attack uh, a knight or Tana. Well, I'm assuming, assuming Dusel goes here to stop him from going for Tana. One, two, mm. three, four, five. I guess it's not bad if he attacks Tana, does it? Maybe he kills her, actually. What if he does just no, use he the Steel Lance? Or not the Steel Lance. Yeah, the, what if he does just use Steel Lance? Yeah, I guess it's not terrible. It just means that Ephraim has to dedicate his turn to giving him weapons next turn if we need new weapons, but that's fine. Mm. But I guess, like, if the guy's suicide in Tana, it's also not bad, right? Because Tana just one rounds him. Yeah. Oh, Tana does just one round? Yeah, she. Yeah, I guess so. This, this is damage that she did with the Slim Lance last turn. Mm -hmm. I guess there's, like, the movement order issue, though, right? Like, if he moves and attacks Tana and then dies, and then the next Merc moves. Could oh, that true. Well, if Dusel's here, the next Merc can't reach. Oh, true. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, you're right. Cool. All right, let's try this. Uh, so grab Iron Lance and Javelin and Hanax. Equip the Iron Lance. I guess there's like an issue of these fighters being unable to attack Dusel and then they'll go up instead, and that might be annoying. Because this is the yeah, this is the real annoying part. Um, yeah, this was the every time we tried to <laughs> come up with a solution here, it ended yeah, up failing horribly. Melt. Right? We can prevent that. Disaster having to loop by just having her kill the mercenary and then heal Joshua and have him get the archer and just leave the Hanax like alive, I guess. Yeah, I, I like it because, like, I mean, it's the mercenary is a pretty hard guy to kill anyway, right? So we yes. might as well. I, I, don't, I don't think it's wasteful to take someone with great offense like loot and use it to kill a mercenary right now. No, so. the issue is if everything else works out. Hmm. But, but what do you mean the issue? Everything else worked out. I mean, we'll see if it does, because both Kyle and Josh are low on health. Mm -hmm. But I guess Kyle can potentially heal. So it'd be Josh, like, cling edges the archer for exact kill. Mm. And then I think Mulder has to heal Josh at this point, at that point. And maybe turn into an iron sword so it doesn't get uh, some success from two fighters. And then, sure, Mulder's in range of a hand axe, but who cares? 
He needs to have a ballista too, right? Mulder, yeah, I guess maybe he is. But I guess Franz and I have to correct it then. Yeah, that's what got us last time. Was the ballista plus hand axe combo into that square. Oh yeah, I mean Mulder's bulk might be, be good enough to survive it because I think Loot only did, barely died. Oh so, yeah. But the ballista is like very weak. It has 13 attack. 13? So Are you serious? Mulder takes 8 damage and then the annex wow. fighter is 22. So Mulder would tank both. And in fact, we might want him to tank both. Because that way other people are like full health. I was about to say, dude, just like put him in the wall or something. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah. Look at Mulder go, man. All those yeah. level ups. So is then the idea that we put... Hmm. Okay, whoever goes there is still in range of the ballista. So what do we do with this hand axe fighter then? We just hmm. put Kyle here or here. I guess he kind of has to go here and just stop him from doing anything. Yeah, just like use a Vuln. I wonder if he could go south, because like... Okay, so these two other fighters, they could theoretically attack Joshua, and if they both hit, or if one of them hits, then maybe Hand Axe plus Ballista could kill Joshua. I don't know how much bulk Joshua has. Joshua dies with two, fact fact two fighters, basically. I think the Ballista is almost irrelevant for him. Okay. But we're going to well, heal him, right? Yeah, we, we still have to heal him so that he doesn't get like one shot by a fighter, right? Mm -hmm. But is there maybe a way we could block him off from that Iron Axe fighter down below. Like, I don't know how many Kyle can take on at once. So the fighter here does 10, and this guy here does 10 as well. Oh, this is the Iron Axe fighter. I think we all want to steal Axe. Mm. Yeah, he's stronger. So Kyle at like 25 can survive both of these, I think. Yeah, he can survive both Iron plus Steel or like Iron plus Hand Axe for sure. Put him here. Mm -hmm. And we could put Franz uh, where like Kyle is right now to stop him from... Actually, what, what do we care about this fighter going for the right? I guess we want him to stay here so we don't have to fight him here when the reinforcements come. Mm -hmm. So maybe Kyle here and then Franz where he was? I think so. Okay. Uh, we'll trade with Joshua while we're here. And Vuln up. Surround them all. Not too bad. Don't let a single one deal damage to you. I don't yeah. Know. I know where this is going. Go here. And then we'll leave Franz here, where he can't be ballista but he can be hit by like one guy, but he doesn't care. We could stop him from attacking Mulder altogether. I don't know if this is wise, though. No, because we already said we don't care if they attack Mulder. He's fine, right? So He is fine. I guess they could crit, but like, come on. Mm -hmm. Well, the advantage of putting Franz here is the fighter stays further to the left. Other than that, there's not really much of a reason to do it. I guess it puts Franz in range of ballista plus fighter, which might kill him. Alright, we'll just go here for now. I think so. This fleet class, by the way, I gotta say, is really odd. Like, a very <laughs> funny one-off occurrence in Fire Emblem, I think. It's yeah. just a whole boat. <laughs> it's a whole ass Does this boat. ever happen again? Or no? Uh, or did it ever happen before? I want to say Tearing Saga had something like it, but I'm probably wrong. Mm. Okay, that... that um, yeah, he's totally toast. I think the Nightcrest was just not happening, no matter what formation we were doing. Okay. Yeah, um, no, you know what? That guy being gone, I'm actually kind of appreciative of it. It's super duper not happening, yeah. Okay, Kyle might need to dodge at this point. Something, like an axe. A ballista. I, he gets a defense level, who knows, right? Well, I don't know if that's what save him, honestly. I yeah, mean, he, he gets to avoid, right? I don't know. There's two fighters. Just dodge this, easy. Oh boy. Uh, is he fine now? I said the ballista hat. 18 attack? Kyle 18? Has, what the hell, did Kyle just double an enemy? No, no, no it has like 13. Well, it says 13 attack, remember? Uh huh. So we're actually fine. I think he uh -huh. can't die to any of this incoming damage. Okay. Well, now he's going to go for Mulder for sure. Actually, yeah, he? Kyle did just oh, he's double not. an enemy. Yeah, this is really good. This is really nice. Like, even the fact that he got hit is like, it's okay. Because Mulder just heals one air carry to the full and we don't have to heal anyone else anymore. Yeah, with a big time mend, right? Oh, let's get it. Chip damage on the enemies. You'd love to see it. Okay. Nice, that's... useful green units. Yes, very cool. Okay, what do we do here? Ideally, I want to stop more mercenaries from coming in, but right now I don't think we have the offense to do that. I think I'd be happy if we just don't die to the wyverns this turn, honestly. And maybe yeah, no. maybe try to give him only Dussel to attack at least. Like maybe even have those Dussel attack one with the silver axe. Oh, we one rounds them. Get wrecked. How much people you guys smoke. have? What? Yeah, Dussel turns out is kind of a good unit. He's a bit good. Yeah. Okay. So he doubles both. So if we don't give him the option to attack some green guys, and did you do you remember if they move first or last compared to the uh, enemies? I really can't remember. Oh, I think they move afterwards. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, that's my 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 hunch. Yeah. Says that, but I don't know. I don't know if you want to listen though. Hunches. My hunches. Hunches. Yeah. yeah. Hunch, hunch bad. Um. 
I'm okay with like letting these people die. What I'm not okay with like is Ephraim getting attacked from by pirates from one side and Mercs from the other. Like it's a recipe for disaster no matter what Reaver weapon he equips. And Tana is also yeah, being no. sandwiched between these two bo these boats and is the she actually, She's on the same state square, so for she, the boat didn't move. So well, the boat is like one move, so he might have moved like mm -hmm. one, one up or down. So yeah, she's no, safe from the boat here, but the wyverns are here. Mm, oh yeah, you're right. Well, well, we're gonna delete one of the wyverns, right? So uh, there's no way. Okay, can we get any forces from the north into this situation? I mean, because like if two, not, two, then four, five, six, seven. oh, Kyle can actually like get in here if we're okay with leaving everyone else with the fighters. And there's no reinforcements yet. I thought they were turn five, but I guess they're turn six. Oh. Huh. So if we if we can do this, Kyle less. Then yeah, Kyle can choke a point, attack a merc, something, something. Kyle can't kill anything though. Like he's not gonna murder anything. He can just choke I a think point. That'd be useful. Did we ever get any supports uh, in Rigwald, by the way, or no? He got uh, FMC for Kyle. Uh, it's like not I mean, that great right we, now. We probably should C make use is, of it at some point, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, at the moment it's like five hit, five avoid, basically. Yeah. That's it. It's, it's, it's like, it's like I, I'm glad you got the first level because the next one's really good. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, Ephraim has a 5 use actually for his convoy. That's like all he has. So these pirates are never like gonna be good for him. We need like mm -hmm. our Joshua what, there to hold him busy. What does a combat against a pirate actually look like with Ephraim? With like, like a with like a more regular weapon? Yeah, it's just like, like this. with an iron. Wait, what seven? Get out of here! Yeah, the what are you shield, afraid of? Yeah, Jaker shield good. Yeah, I guess he's better than I thought. So maybe we just have him fight this full health merc then. Yeah, because then that just gets rid of the merc. Tana can. Maybe survive a combat against one of the wyverns? We'll see, or no? Okay, so if Ephraim is here to block this wyvern horizontally, right, then I think this mm -hmm. becomes a safe square for Tana. I think so. Uh, it depends yes. on whether the, whether the fighters, like, or the pirates break through this one uh, NPC soldier. To be fair. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I see another safe square for Tana. It's like the bottom left here, this, this wall. They can't oh, get really? up the cliffs. Yeah, this oh, is wow. yeah, a real right. carry unit. Maybe we just do that for sure, and just fall. I was up. trying to find oh, wait, a way actually, to get like Tana a kill, but maybe here. Wait. Yeah, I, I want to feed Tana kills too, but this is not the map for it. I'm afraid. I think yeah, Phantom Ship. Think... Phantom Ship is going to be more friendly for Tana feeding than it. I think we go here on this corner wall here. Sounds like an odd thing to say, but you know it's probably <laughs> right. Like, do we elixir or do we Vuln on her? Uh, I guess this is an okay time to use an elixir, honestly. Because like that, that's an extra nine HP. It might be relevant. And I have enough I'll, elixirs. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I have enough. Okay, it was the corner was wall. Like, yeah, okay. Can we spare an elixir? I don't know. I don't know. We can also buy them in this chapter, I think, technically. Wait, seriously? No yeah. way. This, this shop, right? Remember for draft races, people would, like, buy elixirs here? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this Merc is going to get F-framed. It's going to get framed. This f frame is going to get murked. I don't know. Yeah. I hope. I would hope not. Oh, true, yeah. Maybe getting murked isn't so bad, though, right? Uh -huh. Okay, well, this... No matter what, the Wyverns will be able to attack Ephraim or Green Soldiers. I guess this is like killing a Wyvern on player base makes the most sense here. Again, these three do not move. So, so we can just get in there. Is this the best use we can do right now? Just kill one Wyvern so he's out of our hair, I guess? I mean, killing one Wyvern is, like, pretty good. It's pretty damn know? good. I think we do this, then the uh, square's free for Kyle to go here after I mend and just stop enemies from... I mean, do we really That's care about right. enemies going through here? I guess we just, if we want to push them off the bridge, this is the best we can do with them. I, I do think getting additional enemy, or not additional enemies, additional, <laughs> like, player units into this is going to be helpful. Another thing to think about is uh, this top wyvern, right? We do need to make sure, as we're making our plays in the north, that we don't get wrecked by this guy, right? Absolutely right. So, okay, well, I'll do this. Seems good. Nice hits. There we go. I was like holding my breath, like, oh, will the 92s hit? <laughs> what if he misses? Yeah. Yeah, no, well, he could, you know. Yeah. It's only a 92. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's happened before. Yeah. Okay, so, it's Josh, before, it? if he has 11 left, is that okay for the Ballista? It is, right? 13 yeah. attack, Lamau. Yeah, okay. He's, yeah, he's fine. So, is this what Joshua wants to do? Yeah, get the Iron Axe guy? Because there's also a Hand Axe guy that's at full health. Maybe we want to killing edge that guy. Hmm. And. Um, okay, we can attack a guy from north and thing. We can only attack him from one side, really, because Kyle needs to needs his movement to get through. Yeah, he, like, needs to go. So, I mean, Joshua can get him. Does Kyle really have to go right. full move, though? Because, like, what is he doing? He's stopping enemies from reaching Ephraim. That's that's honestly not the super necessary, is it? Yeah, and we've already said that, like, enemies reaching Ephraim is fine. Actually, hold on. How many how many enemies could attack Ephraim this turn, right? Like, imagine they all went for it. One, yeah. two, three, four, uh, five. Honestly, I don't think it matters, because they have way juicier targets over here. 
Oh, true. Yeah, they're 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 not going to. Yeah. I guess is your point. So I also don't really want to counter attack this guy though. Like I would like to move him down, but maybe not like full move. But like maybe I'm okay with him moving like this, and then there's two mm -hmm. squares to attack this guy from with say. Um, oh, actually, loot should just chip damage. Hold up, I have two range attackers existing. Yeah, this is yeah, actually way easier than I'm like making it out to be. Yeah, because I can just finish with a yeah, melee or something. Yeah, just any old cav who can do three damage reliably with an iron sword. Exactly. Do we have any of those? Yeah, the thing is, I oh, have actually, I have one sword between the cavs. They've been sharing it. <laughs> okay, well, but it's I, okay. That's all we need. I guess that settles who gets the exp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Amelia. It was democratically decided. His EXP gains from these is still quite good, though. Like, what the heck? Yeah, I thought it was like level 7 or so. He was telling everyone know. that the EXP gain at this point was bad. I think... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I think this is a great turn for Amelia to get the village. Like, I think this is something really good that she can do is grab a village. Yeah, just... Kill uh, and here's the thing. If he fails to kill, we have Garcia. We have... Uh, honestly, we even have Amelia. Like, yeah. it's not even too bad. Okay, I'm gonna kill Edge anyway, though. Because I'm gonna move people down. Maybe not too far down. He's yes. Joshua. <laughs> it's fine. This is what we hoard at the Killing Edge do for we, the game. Do we actually like say Garcia trade the Iron Sword and then just Amelia use the Iron Sword to kill? Would that be very the reliable? Or no? I want to get the village this turn, and then oh, so, that, so I can vacate it completely next turn. So I think okay. this is time for Garcia or someone to like just kill the oh, guy. We have like, like a hatchet. We have the hand axe. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna hatch it for sure. Yeah, this weapon's so good. <laughs> it's really it's nice. Like what? Ten more hit than an Iron Axe. And 50 uses is crazy. It's everything an axe has no right to be. Okay, Amelia. Here you go. Get the, the Wyvern attacking Mulder is fine, right? Uh, He doesn't have to, right? He just goes one left, oh, heals Kyle, or like even okay. below him. I thought I thought he was in the, uh, the I, Wyvern range. I did check that oh. somehow. I did check that. Good job, Mulder. I guess you can jab or just hit a Merc. We don't really care if they filter through this. I Ooh. guess he's... I guess if we don't put him in range of the mercs, then they are going to go for Dusel. But I don't know how good that is, because Dusel might miss them. I think they'll, they'll go for either Dusel or Ephraim. I really don't know. It depends on whether they like Weapon Triangle or Lord Priority more. I think they have about equivalent defense, because Ephraim has effectively 15, whereas Dusel effectively has 16. But mm. Ephraim is low on HP. So... Uh, yeah, I think they'll go for Kyle, because they, they, they can see they can, more, 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 they can do more damage to Kyle. Um, so what do I want them to do? I think actually, it might be beneficial for Akal not to move full move and bait some mercs this way, because then loot and friends can get involved in killing them. Could be like, okay, how many mercs though? One, two? Can we actually survive this? Like, imagine yeah. both mercs and the Wyvern go for Kyle yeah, at that point. That is worth thinking about. Depending on movement order, it's... it might not matter because the green guys are here, but I do share your concern. And so Let's I go will with the check. edge of range of this merc you selected right now. This one? You know? Yeah, this one. That's just one work, like, that's, but, you know, that's probably that's about as much as the group can Wyvern. handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if one work and one Wyvern, sure. Uh, Wyvern, okay, so. I do know if Loot gets speed, she can double these as well, and I think she got it. Oh, wow. Uh, she's 12 speed. I think that's the same as Dussel's base, so I think she can get there. Yeah, this guy's weight down yep. to, like, nothing. Okay, sure, we'll try. I think Kyle might be the best target for this Wyvern. So here's what we're thinking, right? Yes. Yes, okay. We go here. Like, what's probably going to happen is they're just going to kill the green units anyway. Mm -hmm. Wait, is Tana going to be okay? There, no, Ooh. there's a no hit axe guy. Oh, let's go green unit kill. Yeah, all right. Green guy, let's go. Goodbye, green guy. Go. Yes. It's like a game over for all three of the green guys guy turns out. Stop know? trying to make Nightcrest happen. It's not happening. No, it's not happening. Oh, the mercs are stuck behind the wyvern, and now we can just put Dusor or Ephraim on that square or something, and then they're just stuck. Ooh. Oh, this is real Very good, too. I like 63 yeah, it's not damage a lot of damage, guy. but... Yeah. Are we gonna... No, we should be able to, like, extract Ephraim using, like, a take drop, maybe. Yeah, but even if we don't, like, is it really that big of a problem if he's fighting enemies? <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's it's kind of annoying for sure, but it's not the worst thing in the world. This is the worst thing in the world. These, this, this yeah, this is pretty bad. Here. Um, how do we deal with this? Well, right? they can't hit us if we just run away for four turns, although at some point we'll run out of space. Like, if we're, if we're tanking here, they're going to catch up to us at some points. How, how far could they go, right? Because it's like seven times four. Yeah, so like around here, yeah. around here. Yeah, that, they'll have to face him for two turns. All right. Yeah. This might sound like uber stupid, but you know, tanking the bridge is not something Dusel needs to do. So what if we send Dusel up at them and then everyone else tanks the bridge? That's actually what I was about to suggest. Is like, is is this a problem for Dusel to solve? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And here's the other thing too. This ballista boat just seems pretty content to never move ever. Doesn't he so... move like once where every turn? 
kind of. Well, he he hasn't been doing it the past few turns. Oh, so. I didn't notice. I thought he was moving because I heard him. I heard him like the the sound of going through the waves, right? But maybe that just means he's just doing something, not necessarily maybe moving he's a square, just attacking, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the, the thing about extracting a frame is though is that like how uh like because like Tana I guess can go up here, and as after, after like after grabbing him and then. A calf drops him here, then what's that accomplish? I, I guess it gets him in range for the bridge next turn. Yeah, it like, um, uh, well, because here's the thing here is like, okay, before him we were like, oh, he's totally fine. Now it's like actually a little bit sus, is it not? Yeah, I, it's going to get worse, especially if these mercs keep coming through, which mm -hmm. they won't. So what I'm thinking is maybe Ephraim kills the Wyvern with his killer or whatever, or the Regin Leaf. And then Tana grabs him and goes to another safe square that she just completely found. Which I'm really loving, by the way. Like, Tana is really fun in this map if you don't have to send her to a corner of the map <laughs> to yeah. get Cormag. So we gotta like, go on these um, on some kind of space square here. And then a kind of take drops Ephraim. Kyle and Dussel choke the bridge for a turn to make sure no more new guys come in. And then... I guess it's still really annoying that these pirates are here. Like, we want someone to choke the point here as well to stop the pirates from coming further in. Hmm. I mean, that could still be Dussel, though, right? Like... I guess we can put Dussel, like, around here, and he just, like, fights everything that comes his way for one turn. He's not gonna mm -hmm. mind that. It's a silly question, but Dussel does survive that whole lot, right? I mean... I think he takes zero from Mercs, so... Oh, probably. wow, yeah. He must. Yeah, even with Bob and Trinos advantage, he takes zero from Mercs. He's fine. 17 defense Crazy. is something. This unit is kinda good. Yeah, this unit might be, uh, might be good. Hmm... I guess okay, Dussel, well, there's no reason for Dussel to kill, I, the, kill the Wyvern ever, right? Like, it's always going to be Ephraim doing that. Yeah, I, Ephraim can get this kill pretty easily, right? Maybe if, like... Well, actually, is there? Hmm. Because think about it, right? Like, what if our goal is to just get Ephraim to the east? Maybe we, like, do a little bit of an exchange, you know? We kill the Wyvern with Dussel, and then we go east and kill the Merc with Ephraim. That gets us closer to the goal. Hmm. True. I mean, that takes out Tana's action. It's not that she has to do an action, but then, okay, so we have Ephraim on this square yeah, it, and do so here. It doesn't take out Tana's action, it frees up Tana's action. It frees right? out Tana's action, but what, what is Tana's action going to be if it's not going to be doing a rescue drop? Like, what can she even do? She could, well, I was going to say she could, like, jab a Merc from above, but yeah. it's not very useful, huh? Yeah, it's um, not the most productive thing ever, which is why I, I like that. Uh, it, it also, like, it gets Ephraim closer, but it gets do so further away, is my mm -hmm. main problem, I think. Whereas, That's true, yeah. Because Ephraim still makes it here with the rescue drop from Tana. It's a pretty good square for him to just get to the bridge next turn. And then, if Dussel is allowed to not participate in that, he can be here, for example. Stop these mercs. That's true. Mm. Gets him onto the bridge, he like counterattacks a, a couple guys. I'm trying to think of like where can we go that actually like, counterattacks the most people. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a way to keep the mercs and the pirates separate, personally. Hmm. I guess one way to do it is to leave someone here and that someone could be do so, like, no lies. I think person, like, I think Kyle wants to be on either of these squares, doesn't really matter which. Mm -hmm. For sure, and then... I mean, let me see if Franz survives this. So he's, thir he's 9 speed, so 13 speed doubles him, which is most of these guys. Yeah, that's everyone here. Can we take a look at the southern boat too? Oh, him guy? Oh yeah, I yeah. guess he exists. He has like 13 he's second, gonna, right? Yeah. yeah, he's gonna like, begin to encroach upon us in just a moment. I think. Encroaching moments. Awkward. Yeah. That's all they do is just encroach. Encroaching moments. I do like I do like killing the Wyvern with Ephraim. I think that's how it all starts. No so matter too. what, right? Okay, let's see if we can avoid a counterattack with using the killer. Nice. Good, Shot. good. That nice. was like one of my concerns with this. Oh, Ephraim being on the HP. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty legitimate 17, concern, I gotta 17. say. 17. And then... Um, so there's a Hanax guy somewhere here. Wow, he's still in the water. He's still, he's still splashing. Oh so, wow, way down there. I think the closest... Tana, Tana does, needs to be here if we need to take drop from her, which I think is a safe square. Does do one round pirates with any kind of sword, like steel sword maybe? Or no? There's no way he... I mean, this is just... He just doesn't double is the problem. Hmm. Yeah, if it doesn't double, then he probably doesn't one round. Okay, here's a real dumb thought. What if we hole up here instead? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> what if we just hide I mean, there instead of at this massive open choke point? <laughs> just kill a bunch of pirates? Yeah. Wait, hold on a minute. Can Ephraim actually survive that? Well, he takes like, seven, imagine, right? Like, imagine, right? 20, 21, he takes 21, seven, yeah, but... 21, 21, 21. 
Like eight each. We can disarm him, then takes one less damage. Mm hmm. What if we did that? You know, I actually think I really like that idea. Let me explore it a little bit more. So, what if Dusel just javelins this guy and then we finish him with like Kyle? Well, what about a uh, Tana javelins that guy and then we finish him with Kyle? Well, what if what if Kyle javelins that guy and then Tana finishes off with 40 speed? I like it. <laughs> Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> Because now Tana will never have to face stupid pirates. She can instead face stupid mm -hmm. other enemies. I'll just hand next here or something. Some lands by. You know, Tana is okay with being exposed to this next Merc. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, that's fine. She totally lives. I think the one drawback. She's not in range of the ballista, right? Sure, she is. Oh, she's not. Ooh, Perfect. Nice. Calculated. Look at calculated. That. The one drawback, I guess, is we don't get to fight these guys. I would like their weapons. Ooh, but the maybe at some point we can get Dussel through there. Like, maybe yeah, just do this initially to be like, have my people come over here and then we go through. Like, maybe just yeah, throw... Yeah, how are we going to kill two calves? There's no way. Like, I'm kidding. <laughs> what if we it throw... Be fine. What if we make a secondary choke point here with uh, Kyle and Franz for like one turn? Just get him attack like once each, and then we can slowly break through. Like, put him here so that they don't get... I mean, can we get away with putting him here? Probably not, right? That's probably too no, scary totally for can. Franz. <clears throat> no, can I get away with that? Because Franz takes like for Franz. Yeah, because Franz is Franz, right? So yeah, he, no, he needs to take two rounded. Yeah, gonna get destroyed. So we, we have yeah. to be here, I think, like here and here. Probably actually, no, we don't have to do it. We can go here with like Kyle, because the this Merc closest to us is gonna go for Tana. Always. Oh, true, yeah. <clears throat> In fact, we can even weaken him mm. with a javelin real quick. Seems okay. And then Franz. I guess there's a chance he goes for Franz instead. That would be kind of annoying. Because we can't have Franz face more than one more. So like, Franz kind of has to be here. Yeah, the real issue too is that like, if we do this, then we're probably going to counterattack and not do any damage, right? Like, we kind of enjoy damaging these mercs on the counter, mm -hmm. I think. Well, th this group has to move down anyway, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe we throw... Um, shoot, why do we do this? Why do I do this? Okay, maybe we throw Kyle and Franz like here diagonally. No, yeah, that gets Franz, Franz killed so too. He doesn't get like two people, right? Okay, so we Joshua instead. Joshua takes That's two marks, right? Five, five. Yeah, yeah Joshua should be fine. He doesn't get doubled. Yeah, exactly. So this is like this diagonal right here is not a range of either of the ballistas. So we're doing this. I guess Joshua has to be here, and then we just put Kyle below him. That allows other people to like run down without getting a range of other things, basically. Just like, throw Kyle here. So we can move everyone else closer, is the idea. I think so, yeah. Okay. Actually, do we put Kyle here? Well, yeah, apparently we, we did. Are, but... Apparently we did. Uh, I mean, I guess he could have been somewhere else, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was actually wondering if we could like just leave them only Joshua as an option to fight, because he'd be better. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, I can heal loot with Mulder in some capacity, probably. It's just kind of awkward. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, loot, heal... It's going to keep on getting like damaged here and there. Yeah, this stupid bliss is going to keep going for me. We never meant to, like, mend Kyle or anything, did we? No, we're fine. Okay, that was last turn. Yes. Amelia, don't forget her. She exists. Poor Amelia. Woo! <laughs> Imagine if I didn't get the village last turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, could've... whoever would go up there, which is, like, condemned to die. Mm -hmm. There's no way they live that. Wow, not getting doubled. Yeah, apparently. I was like, I could have used steel, but now I realize, you know what? Actually, it's a good thing I didn't. You know what I could have done this chapter to make it easier? Just promote Kyle. I think that mm. might have been the smart play after all. Just do it real quick. Yeah, because I guess like kind plus of... one defense strength, right? It's pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just like so abandoned his late game. Oh, here we go. Oh, I guess if everyone kills a bunch of pirates, that's also fine. Yeah, it's good progress. I get a bunch of kills. Yeah. Like, the less enemies I have to deal with, the better. Especially from this bottom side. Okay, all right. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's the end of his pirate yes. killing. Yes, well, no more suffering from success, I guess. The other one's gonna, gonna hit Dussel. Oh, his animations are not on. Let's go! Ooh. Dude, we, got, we gotta show off the GBA animations, right? Or yeah. the FE8 ones. Honestly, I like the, the Great Knight ones are kinda stupid, FPS. let's be real. Yeah. The what now? The Great Knight ones? No, they're so cool. They're silly. They're stupid. No. They're like right up and they smack them. It so looks cool. so weak. <laughs> what? They're pathetic. Oh, I think some of okay, the cats are just not moving. Are these guys like stationary? Maybe. But it's two less calves to deal with. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, Dussel. Let's have your. Can't believe you would slander the Great Knight animations like that. You're cringe, bro. But this is yeah. really open here, actually. Yeah, we're kind of. Um. Okay, so Kyle. In France, are they just okay sitting here and 
fighting pirates all day. With these axes? I think so. I mean... Oh, Fransk doesn't make it, unfortunately. It has to be Dussel or something. Honestly, just... What about just Kyle? Like, he should, he should have a... Well, yeah. If, I guess if Kyle cuts off the corner where Ephraim is, they can't really reach anyone. I put beyond the borders. Like, Tana always has a safe square. And then mm -hmm. Dussel... Wherever Dussel goes is a safe square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we could put... We could throw Dussel here. This is, like, about as far as he gets. And I'll guess... Could use that kill for Ephraim, too. Oh, well, we should probably put him somewhere that can get mended, right? Ephraim, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I can kill three Mercs this turn like... with, this, with this team, to be honest. Three Mercs this turn? Okay, so then we should just make sure that wherever we go, we're, like, killing Mercs with our units, right? Yeah. So, how does Ephraim do against this guy? I think Ephraim one rounds uh, with the Red Leaf. Yeah, he one rounds this guy with Tickless 2 damage, and he's going to aim phase another one, which is pretty good. Kind of like that. I think that's worth. It's probably worth, and like... we don't even have to mend him, per se. Because if we're killing most of the cat or most oh, of the mercs, right. then he's taking two damage each. So, Mao. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, mm -hmm. not bad. So then Dussel has to go here and javelin this guy, which is unfortunately not a kill, but you can finish it out with a melee or something. It's just barely not. Yeah. Um, but that's like the only way to do this, really. Because I guess Ephraim could javelin him instead, but that's just worse overall. Like, why would we do that when we could one round a like fresh full health mark with that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess Otana can be the one to finish it off as well. That's pretty good too. Yeah, Otana can go. Uh, we have. I don't know where. Oh, I guess here. This would be your square. Kyle Square. Yeah. Or that square. Or yeah. Kyle Square works too. too, yeah. Maybe we need that for like two range attacks, but sure. And then I think Joshua doesn't. I think Joshua might have to crit a guy or something. Uh, I, I think Joshua attacking a full health guy with the killing edge is like probably one of the best things to do. Like, just so that in case we roll a crit, we get a whole entire merc as opposed to like yeah. only part of a merc, you know? Unfortunately, the only full health merc is in the back, which means we have to get rid of everything else basically here for him to get there here. Yeah, well, we have a plan for the middle one though, right? So. Yeah, assuming the jabs and stuff hits, I guess. Uh, I guess what we just like check out first. What does loose combat forecast look like? Uh, loose combat forecast. This is like the wrong merc, obviously. I think the. Luke's, Luke's probably gonna get the upper one. In conjunction with like Emilia so. or Franz hitting him up close. Yeah, uh, that sounds right to me. I don't remember if this square is free, but I think it is. I think it is. Mm -hmm. So let's get this and one, I'll... and then yeah. But how are we hitting that guy? Oh, I guess we once this once this middle mark is gone, we put like the other calf there to kill him. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier to see. Okay, but then, that, so. but then we use every every character here besides Joshua and Garcia to attack with, and we still have this full earth mark. So. Conclusion is, if Joshua doesn't crit the Merc, then we're kind of screwed, aren't we? I guess so. How about, like, we, we've we kind of outlined a play that kills the first two Mercs, and it's like everyone's only legal attack, right? This is Ephraim's only legal attack, and then the other one is Deucel's only legal attack. So I actually agree with you. Like, let's just get those done with first, mm -hmm. just to resolve them, and then sure. that way we can, like, better yeah. like, don't, midway through the turn. Don't forget, we don't have Kyle for the Mercs. He's going down to the pirate party. Oh, true, yeah. So don't use Kyle for any attacks, is what I'm telling myself, basically. Oh, okay, so yeah. Kyle goes, like, here. And I guess he Steel just attacks. Is fine. I guess it's... I think okay. baking square is, like, worth... I guess I should do Dussel's attack first to see if it hits. Mm -hmm. That's probably more important than whatever Kyle thinks he's doing. Because, like, what if Kyle needs to rescue someone? I don't know. True, yeah. What if he needs to attack? What if he gets to attack? Yeah. Well, I right. hope he doesn't I mean, get Ephraim... to attack, because then Ephraim is, like, really bad spot, really. Hmm. So we kind of... Yeah, it's actually pretty bad. Kind of uh, have to do it. I mean, it's a good spot as long as we put Kyle in the way. And then they can... Wait. Yeah, that stops him, right? Because then he can't go up right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Okay, so actually this, this front is fairly solid. So if we just put people... Well, you can't put them beyond them, like, very far. But we can put Kyle here. Probably don't even attack. Just wait. Maybe even Vuln the 4 HP. Yeah, Vuln, Vuln I think is best here. I was maybe thinking of trying to grab like an iron sword from convoy, but oh. it's a bit extra for like what? Actually, does it even matter? He has like nine con, right? Whoa, two avoid. And he just has he has ten, ten con. con. He doesn't care. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, it's yeah. just use, use the seal. Mhm. Mm okay, so again, I'm checking ballista ranges for Tana's sake here. Uh, so Tana could be the one to finish this one off. There might be one that maybe Tana doubles one of these. Let me check that. 14, 13. Okay, she's not doubling any of them. He has like 16 yeah. speed. And that's not happening. One off. You got Joshua. Me. Uh, Joshua actually like literally has to move from the square he's on right now. He can't be here. We have to move further beyond. Mm. We have to go even further beyond. Yes. Okay, who's the weakest cav we have? I think it's France and Amelia are tied in strength. Amazing. We might have to like wall this guy. 
instead of killing him. I mean, that's fine. I right? think that's doable, yeah. So we'd have to, like, finish this one with, say, France. And then just loot plus... I mean, we had that plus one. Tana. Loot, yeah. loot plus Tana can kill the top one. Yeah. But then how do we survive this bit with here? Because we don't have that many squares to go to. I guess... Because Tana's moving away from the square, so this pirate... And this pirate... Well, Tana's, one, two, three, four, five, Tana's defense four. is, if she ends up on Joshua's square, like, pretty good, right? So... Yeah, she does live... I think she lives Merc plus Cav. 19 attack is... 12 damage, 17 life. Yeah, she survives that, for sure. Yeah, so she's surely fine. Can we just move Josh away then and just phone him for now? Yeah, we could. We have Mulder as well, so... Yeah, but it's kind of hard to find two chasing squares for these two. I guess... Yeah, no. I guess we can leave it to Mulder. We just have to move. make sure we move Franz away at some point. So just go here and don't heal. And then... Um, Actually, do do heal in case we need Mulder from like some other attack this turn, right? Sure, I don't need my phone uses that badly anyway. Because here's the thing, right? Like, imagine for a moment we heal up everybody and then Mulder has no targets. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we're all at full HP. What a disaster, right? Like, <laughs> okay, so... I don't think it's that bad. Okay, so I'll use Amelia, I guess, with the Slim Lance because it's more accurate. Oh, she also freaking dies if she misses. Oh my goodness. Although, to be fair, Franz probably also freaking dies if he misses. Yeah, like, it just happens more slowly, but it does happen, right? So... It happens slightly faster. Okay, Amelia, let's go. Don't miss. Good job, Amelia. Oh boy. Give us, like, the whole entire level up now. Yeah. Yes. Show us what you can oh do. Oh my god. No. So bad. Amelia. It's so cringe. Why did you do it? Okay, so where's Garcia going? Uh, I mean, it's not terrible if he faces a bunch of attacks, but he's really bad at it. So maybe he should go, like, where Ephraim is. Uh, you should <laughs> just try to get south here with Kyle. You just go, like, here, which is not a range of the pirates Buy ever. Buy some stuff. Isn't there, like, some unique items in this armory? Not, not unique in not the sense in of, like, battle, no. Like... There's like one shot where you can buy Nosferatu's at one point. That's like in battle, but not out battle. But that's it, I think, in Sacred Stones. Yeah, I know there's like there's one shop that's like that. I can't remember if it was this mm -hmm. one, but I think this one's pretty like tame. Loot is okay at fading mercs, actually, on enemy phase. Maybe we want her to do that. I don't know if we want to phase yeah, two was... or what, but we can go like here and like, just kill one. Like, yeah, that's not too here. bad. I mean, we fight, we fight two mercs that way, though, don't we? Because isn't the top merc then move? No, he doesn't. He's not. Okay. No, he's not. He, he... If she's here, then she faces this one full HP Merc, which is fine. So we hit this guy. I think Tana does have to land like an Iron Lance hit now. I think she can do it with Slim. Well, we'll see. Like, just going from the south and do it, yeah? South. That's fine, I guess. Sure. Is that... Because that's a, not, not a Ballista range, right? Yeah, but neither is north. Which, I mean... I guess we don't want Tana to fight a bunch of Cavaliers for no yeah. reason. Actually, I, I guess like I was worried about making sure loot doesn't get attacked by a bunch of Cavs all at once, but, or a bunch of Mercs all at once, but if you kill one, then it doesn't matter. She's only going to fight one, so yes. yeah, no, it's fine. Um, also, she lives two Mercs anyway, so like, who cares? She does, yes. Yeah, I like, I like your square better. Yeah. I think this is okay. Mm -hmm. If none of this is ideal, but it's working so far. And there we go. And more Tana levels. This will be the perfect one, though. Trust me. Well, you're not entirely wrong. It's pretty close. It's pretty I good. I mean, 17 speed is good for this map, right? It's, so. Yeah, that's. I think she doubles all the mercs now, as opposed to none of the mercs, which is strange. Actually, she does double right? this guy, but she doubles the 13 speed ones. But, guys, <laughs> let, let me prove my point to my YouTube audience, please. Okay, there's one. There's there, we one, found yeah. one, guys. We found one. This was crucial. This was absolutely massive. <laughs> we found the merc that we doubled. I mean, we can't do much this turn, but I'm kind of worried about what the what the next turn is going to look like with all these calves on my butt here. I think we might have to end these calves. I mean, as long as we can sneak Dussel past this point to strike and kill this group, I think we're okay. We have mm. three you turns to do that, though. That and not Ephraim, or no? Oh, maybe maybe Ephraim as well, yeah. yeah. Ideally, them both. The thing is, like, I'm worried about not having enough people left to, like, actually survive the, the, the groups, the things. Like, What if you are able to cross the bridges, like, with everyone so hard that you can just... You yeah. use Dussel and Ephraim to choke the bridges, like, anyway. Oh. You know, just, like, move right. <laughs> the reverse choke. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Okay, um... Garcia going to the armory, I guess. I don't think there's anything that we want to buy right now. The Iron Blade, wow. Yeah, that's good. I think I even have the Iron Blade already, don't I? Alright. They got it from the guy in, uh, what's it called? The chapter. I know I'm being extremely helpful here, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to phrase it. 
Okay, uh, we can just stay out of range of the Ballista entirely, I think. Yeah, if we just leave Franz here where he is and just put Molder here. And we can just have him vault himself so he doesn't die to a Ballista crit, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright, very helpful Franz, very helpful unit, thank you. Very good, yeah, sit still. And, and, and then Kyle just like, dies to the pirates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just gets hit by all the 50s. I mean, there's like a fair chance here. 50 is like a really high hit, right? Coming well, in. one of them is hand X. Oh, true. Unfortunately. Okay, this guy's dead. Like, this will put all the stat boosters and Ephraim thing is pretty good. Yeah. I was wondering if like maybe we needed to move Mulder a bit further right for this thing, but nah, we should be fine, yeah. Hopefully. Maybe if I don't need my cav Defense actions, we can drop him, but I, you might be correct, though. He's like kind of approaching Dusel defense, isn't he? Yeah, uh, like I think I compared earlier, and if Ephraim has weapon triangle advantage and Dusel has weapon triangle disadvantage, then Ephraim is like one below. So now they're tied after Nolan. Yeah, I mean, Dusel never has weapon triangle disadvantage, but <laughs> you know, in theory. <laughs> That's the point, right? I mean, we have like a couple high defense units. That should be good in Phantom Ship, right? Yeah, Phantom Ship is, is like one big different deal. I'm, right now, I'm like, can I survive this map? <laughs> yeah, no. I think I think sure. we can always lock it up by going balls to the wall to the left. But God, do I want that horse slayer and that killing edge? Maybe the, yeah, maybe, if we maybe, can get over there, that'd be maybe the killing big. edge is kind of whatever. Maybe I should just focus on a horse slayer. That that's like one thing I don't want to miss. Oh right, that's the thing Ooh. that can happen. I think she was no, fine. We're fine, yeah. Yeah, she was totally fine. I feel like it's the other way around. I feel like I really want the killing edge and the horse slayer is like whatever. I mean, we already have a killing edge. Oh, what? I don't have a horse slayer. One? Oh, they are moving. Never mind. Oh, they oh, just okay. took a break, I guess. Okay. These might be the last Merc reinforcements. I'm not sure. Um, uh, these ones? Maybe. Yeah, these ones. Okay, we have got to like get in there, though, right? Like, you got to get in somewhere. We were gonna it's do... either here or it's, either it's here. It's one of the two squares. It's one of the two map spaces. But this is a, this is a scary place to be because we don't... We don't want to be next to these people, but we also don't want to be in the range of this killer bow archer. So, like, this... Whole area is basically off limits, and then also the longbow guy is oh, right. covering a lot of. Do you well. actually have to kill them? Because like, if they switch to the killing edge, or if they switch to the horses layer, then we just get a javelin. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, javelins are good too, but yes, absolutely. Yeah. So the, the, realistically, the space where everyone can go to is like here, or on the bridge, I guess, for one turn. So How, wait, what does the killer boat actually do to him? Uh, that's a good question. Like, imagine we just got hit by 19. Like, three. 19, that's 4. Oh, it's 4. Yeah, so he has to, like, Elixir himself, obviously. If he, if he just goes to this square and Elixirs, he just tanks the Killabo guy. We could even Javelin, honestly, but then we just don't kill the Mercs. I guess Javelin's mm. kind of pointless. I think we Regin Leaf yeah. again here. I just Well, don't we maybe need Regin Leaf against the... the Cavs? Yeah. Like, we we've need... got to one round. Yeah, maybe we kill our Lance. Does he kill with that? Oh, he doesn't double with that. We're just short. We can Iron Lance, and then we have, like... Kill with someone else afterwards. Because he's only fighting yeah, two anyway. Just, like, he's killing three. Kill with loot. Okay, so if we regen leaf, three works. We're down to three uses of regen leaf, and then we can we have two calves left <laughs> yeah. to kill with the regen leaf. Which I don't know if it okos these guys, but with chip it definitely does. It, it must, right? I mean, come on. But then, what else? Because this is the easiest character to move into a solid position. What what else do we do? Because um, I guess. Choking this bridge is not as necessary as long as people that aren't here aren't like dying. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to have Dusel here. So maybe... let's look at like Tana and Dusel squares because I think these squares can be used to simultaneously fight these mercs and create a choke. Mm hmm. So you think like Dusel javelins and merc from here? From Amelia Square? Mm -hmm. Or from. Well, I guess we can use Amelia Square from, as well. Like... Oh, true. We could. I guess we could use like Amelia Square and Tana Square. That also actually works just as well. Yeah, but if everyone's going here, that's basically Dusel and then Kyle standing there. I guess so. I yeah. mean, Kyle would be okay. Okay, but then who's stopping I all these guys? I wonder if like Tana would be better. Hmm. Can Tana use the action for yet? She can. Okay, so she see. Theoretically, uh, Tana could go here next to say Franz or something, and they could both hold off the pirates together. I guess. Mm hmm. That seems good. There's no way either of these other calves can do anything like useful with the calves or the pirates right mm -hmm. alternatively joshua can go here he's definitely bad against calves so if he just goes here there's i think there's some javelins here that we have to be careful of yeah then joshua's gonna have like the takes two hit and dies problem right yeah 
Can anybody like kill a pirate on player phase with their action? Garcia, maybe. I don't yeah, know. I think Garcia with like the. Yeah, this is a kill if he hits. Yeah, we've killed so one pirate. Then he still has the same problem. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. So let's say he hits this pirate. Then oh, I'm getting so many texts right now. Sorry, one second. Oops. It was happening on WhatsApp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um. If we did this, I think he would not tank a hand axe from here, I'm afraid. So yeah, it would be the same problem. And it's assuming he hits too. Uh, but it kind of has to be... Hmm, how is... I wonder how Tana does with the axe reaper. So with the slim lance right now, she faces this much hit. 15. So it's minus 3. It's, or it's minus 3 damage. And how much hit? It's like minus 45, I think. Yeah, so it's actually for weighs her down though, right? So it would be a bit more, but... Yeah, let's call it like 25 hit. Let's say she's way down 5. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. So they have 25 hit on her, are you saying? Yeah, 25 displayed, I think, is going to be mm -hmm. the amount. So we go grab the actually from the convoy and just elixir or heal or just, yeah, vuln, basically. And just stand here. Could do Kyle square, right? Yeah, I mean, Kyle would have to move out of the way first. But yes, Kyle oh. and then uh, Franz right now has the sword. And Franz... I know. If it's, I think his bulk is like pretty comparable to Tana's right now. Twenty six seven. Yeah, yeah we do have to make sure no ballistas can actually target that square too, though, right? I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if Tana goes where Kyle was and Franz goes above that, I think they're both fine. Mm -hmm. So we do that, and then Kyle can go where Tana. Wait, Franz has to go here. We can't have Tana and Kyle switch squares, but we can have Tana go like. Yeah, mm -hmm. or we can like find a useful thing for Kyle to attack. Like maybe he could attack the Merc that loot that loot fought last, last turn, right? Yeah, and that lets Kyle choke a point here. Um, mm -hmm. If Ephraim goes in front of him, he doesn't have to heal. But then he could jab. Yeah, yeah, we could use Francis Square too. Yeah, that's better, I think. Or Amelia's. Yeah. So you're saying Kyle goes there, and then javelins? Or yeah, Kyle goes there, really? javelin. Yeah, I feel like he just heals himself, honestly, and then just hopes he survives this whole onslaught of calves. Um, honestly, this part is better. He could go even, like, south of that other calf. Like here? Yeah. But then we don't have the choke point with two people. Yeah, but we have another one. Like, we can just... Actually, we still have the same one, because, like, if someone attacks from Amelia Square, that still chokes. Yeah, I guess so. And then... If Ephraim goes, like, here to mm -hmm. Reg and Leaf people... Like, the main thing that I'm looking for is that Kyle just leaves and does something useful, right? Yes. Like... Well, I think the most useful thing, thing for him to do is probably heal himself, because we're going to mold our Ephraim, probably. Yeah, that, or we're going to Elixir Ephraim. Yeah. I guess Ephraim doesn't have to attack if he goes here, so I guess, yeah, we can heal... Uh, what's his face again? Someone else is injured. Loot. Mm -hmm. We can heal her, I guess. Yeah, he'll do. That's pretty good. Yeah. She has a nice, like, player phase attack, so it feels wasteful to use a bone. Yeah, I agree. So this could kill this Merc, or weaken the other Merc so that someone else can finish. Yeah, killing seems pretty good. Mm-hmm. I do like killing. Um, but that doesn't mean that other people have to get out of the way. It's such a puzzle. Oh, it's really cool, but yeah. geez. Okay. I think Kyle south of the cab and heal is, like, the best way to do it, and we kind of build the choke from there. Sure, I agree. Last vault. And we should take in uh, Molders, but it's fine. And then I think probably Dusel ends up being the other choker, possibly. And then I think so, yeah. We uh, might have a need to actually heal Kyle like a second time with Molder. Yeah, maybe. Because he's gonna take a lot of act actions this turn. Um, yeah, eleven. Oof. Tana was definitely grab the Axe Reaver. And yeah, we need to do that before everyone moves away. So let's store this thing. Get the axe reaper. It's only five uses, but I don't think there's enough pirates for her to use more uses than that anyway. So yeah. That. No. Equip it and Vuln. And if we're going to square, but I'm pretty sure it was like here so that Franz can go above. Or here. Yeah, we need to like block off that southern pirate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the armory is off limits basically. So I think like yeah. here. No, it's further west, I think. Ah! Uh! Punch. Um, I guess Franz plus Amelia to solve yeah. the problem. Like Franz grabs. I fucked up. 
Like Franz grabs and then Amelia goes below, take drops for one left, and then we're good. I, I think, think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you need to Kanto right one, but you'll be fine if you do that, yeah. Who needs to Kanto right? Uh, Amelia. Okay, so stay with Franz, right? That's right, yeah. Wait, no, that's not correct. Yes, it is. Go here, take, grab, and Amelia. Uh, yeah, the extra river, right? So take, drop, Kanto. Okay. There we go. Pretty good. Okay, so Dusel's probably gonna end up doing this action, which would let yeah, Josh finish it me. off, for example. Okay, let's see if he hits. This seems like a pretty important hit to know. Yeah, if that misses, like, we gotta know. <laughs> Got to know. I think we have to be able to react to it. I kind of like Joshua here because it might bait a javelin to attack him from a square. That actually, I would prefer it if it baited away from Kyle, but we can't have everything right. So, like yeah, this, just one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Like that. Please hit. Okay. Good. Good. Loot survived a second ballista shot. I know. So I think we can just go forward with Ephraim and like elixir on that tile that we found earlier. God. <laughs> oh, dude. Someone commented like, you know. It really sucks that you also did minus 60% growth on your own units. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, do we it's, I mean, it's just sacred stones levels. Like, it just. Do we I just, feel like it's how it goes. Do we just um, have Molder heal Kal then from like the surrounded square here? I think so. I don't really mind if it gets javelin, right? I don't think so. I don't think he would mind either. I mean, if he gets crit, it sucks. I'm sure, but yeah. yeah, I just don't get crit. Like, it's. Let's see if Luke really is the mark first. Um, oh the, yeah, we we gotta know this. Where she go? Um, not her own square, right? No, I, I want to be at two range in case I miss, obviously. I don't want to be in range of the next Merc. South of Dusel, maybe? Yeah, I guess so, but then if she does get healed, she can get Javelin by a guy. Does that matter? Well, if she gets Javelin and she doesn't get healed, she dies, right? 17 damage from the Jav. Oh, it does. Ooh. 18 is what it takes, so it's what she, yeah. So, what if you, actually, what if you move F from first and then yeah, F from square? That was the, I just reached the same conclusion. Uh, are we co Regin leaving, losing, what is it? Like, probably, right? So just Elixir. Yeah. I think. Yeah, just Elixir. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna deposit my, ah, no, screw it. Let's just get the Elixir out. Yeah. I wanna have it's like, technically four, all but... of this is Ephraim's convoy, right? Or Ephraim's inventory. Yeah, but I like so. having four so I can check without committing. Oh, fair. Oh, true. Actually, that's pretty important. Okay, and if Luke misses, I guess there's just nothing left for us to do except heal Smolder and then, like, Lamau. Yeah, maybe, like, hit with a hatchet. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's loot. She is... Ooh, I don't know, though. She is this, yeah. Her skill is kind of low, but she, she got through. She got through. She's got... Yeah, she's fine. She'll figure it out, right? And you... Melissa's, what, 13 attack, was it? Yeah, it's 13. It's okay, like that's pretty definitely windy, gonna go for actually. her. <laughs> like, there's no chance it's not. Okay, and then we heal Kyle because he has to take so much abuse this turn. Mm hmm So maybe Kyle should not actually like attack the calf, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think I Tana Actually How about this? Ooh, One of these. Just like get a extra safety quick chance. Basically. You know? if, if we miss and like if we're in the same situation we're already okay yeah. with. Uh, but, hey look, we're in the same situation. <laughs> that we're already okay with, yeah. Okay. Uh, Franz might be in trouble, but we'll see. Uh, I would hope not. I mean, yeah. what can happen to him? I guess he could get hit by both the hand axe and a normal axe, I guess? I think oh. so. He has oh, the sword out there, right? What's, what's happening? Is he on a force is... or something? Uh, no, he just rolled high in defense, but that's oh, fine, shit. because this guy fights and then we kill him anyway, right? Yeah. I guess we're about to get... Or he rolls high in HP, I guess, yeah. Mm hmm It happens to the best of us. Ephraim's just setting one up for uh, loot, right? It's true. Uh, okay, you yeah, better tank this. Hit here. You better uh, tank this, bro. Please don't get double hit here. Okay. Maybe we lose a cab. Okay. Slightly higher than I anticipated. The hand axe it, has to miss, though. The hand axe has to miss. Or low yeah, roll. It's a hand axe. It'll miss. Always misses. Right. Is he in javelin range from the top cabs? No way, right? Oh, is he actually? I hope not. I think they have oh, about the yeah, same height they too. are. He's totally in range. Yep. Okay, yeah, he's totally in range. Well, oh. actually, no. Maybe the cabs haven't can't move that far. <laughs> Copium. Didn't I check yeah. that before for like Joshua or something? I think so. Yeah, look at that. I can't reach. Actually, no, they totally can. I mean, um, Javelin guys are going to move last, I think. So intense. That's how they always do it, you know? It makes you wait until the very end. God. Ooh. This is insufferable. 
Oh well. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Good start. Okay. Javelin? Question mark? Question mark. Oh my goodness. The tank. They will make them move last. They're slow rolling us. Oh. No. No. Exact damage. Ah! We've been crunched. Franz. Imagine if Franz ever got a good level up, though. We would, have, yeah. we would not have had this problem. We would not have had this problem. Do we just carry on? It was Franz, dude. Fucking Franz. He's done a lot of Franz. work, to be fair. Like. Yeah, true, but we, we got Amelia now. That replaces all the work. Ah! Oh, seriously. Do we mind? But he had the slim lights. Just... <laughs> just kidding. Have he had the slim lights? Whatever, we'll buy new. I have a, oh, I have Amelia something. has it. Uh, I'll stew on it. I'll think about it. Fucking Franz, dude. Okay. So now we. Imagine can... if Ford died. Well, then we just celebrate. What would you do, <laughs> then we just what celebrate. Would you, what would you do if Ford died? Because that's what just happened. What wouldn't right? I do if Ford died? <laughs> I remember all the things I could do if Ford died. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Let me uh, see if I have an opening on my calendar. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, stay here with these boys or advance more. We have like two calves to kill and two actions for Ephraim. I feel like it's just kill the horse slayer guy first or kill the... I mean, I have to kill the horse slayer guy first because the other one is not in range for Ephraim. Seems pretty evident that this is what you have to do. Ugh. Can I have to do this? I was really looking forward to the killing edge, but... Yeah, I mean, I can't right now. I mean, there's still another turn after this. I guess so, yeah. Uh -huh. There's uh, no way that, like, say, loot can get in here and do something about it, right? We kind of need someone to get in there and do, do something, because if we don't, then these guys will waste Ephraim's killing, uh, originally fuses the remaining ones. Yeah, someone has to. I guess loot, that's like a pretty easy job for loot, right? I think maybe um, we try Amelia Jav on this guy if we can, I think. 69, never fails. Yeah, never right? fails. But then the Merc can come up and just kill. And the only way to block her off is to... Oh, right. Amelia gets one rounded by these guys. That's right. She's not as good as Franz was. It's true. It's true. Uh, Tana and Ballista range also does not a good. Yeah, no. Yeah, Tana kind of has to be the one who stays here. I guess it's the other thing. is like I guess we kill one pirate and Garcia's not dying to the other one. We just kind of... Yeah, no, we should be here, fine. Like this guy. Or just kill with Tana, Arch Reaver, and then... Yeah. Well, like... Loot. Okay, so loot does survive another ballista shot, sure. But she, she can actually just get this kill very easy. And here's the thing, right? So we get this kill with loot, and then we region leaf, uh, say the cav. If we can just heal loot so she doesn't die to the merc, yeah, or to the merc plus ballista combo, yeah. then actually that should draw them away from Ephraim and allow Ephraim to just kill the cav next turn with region leaf. You're probably right. Uh, do we have an elixir for him then, or Kyle? Kind of needs one. For Kyle, um, yeah. I guess Tana has we one. We could convoy one out with loot before she chips, and then trade it over to Molder before he heals. Yeah. And then, alternatively, Tana trades her elixir to Garcia as she kills this uh, pirate, and then Garcia has it here and give it to Dusel, and then it's there too. I like it. Yeah. Um, uh, is Tana in range of any ballista if she does this? No. She's uh, right. She's exactly where she needs to be. She's in like the eye of the storm. Yeah. We might need to think about like picking up Tana next turn because yeah, if either of these boats move, she will not have this uh, very I... neat. Huh. I think I put Joshua here at the end of this turn. It doesn't matter if he kills the pirate or not, but if we put him here, then we block the hand next pirate from reaching this whole part here. Which this is whole area. Important. Yeah, yeah, no. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So if we're doing that... Yeah, sure. Okay, so trade over the elixir. Reaver this guy. Right? Yeah, totally. I think there might be a chance that Tana survives one ballista, actually, because they are so weak, right? And she has the yeah, rope and the shield. Like, how much strength do they have, even? Because we can back out how much might's on this thing, right? Or we can actually just press R on it right here, yeah. You have eight mites, eight? So, so 24, 24 mites. 29, 29. Yeah, she lives. Yeah, that's, she her, lives. that's her HP. Okay. So, uh, what is important this turn? I guess loot hitting that guy is kind of important to know. So, I don't think it matters whether we move first or not. So, let's just check this. Okay. That's the loot kill. Pretty good. 
Are you we good on time, by the way? We have like one or two turns left, but I don't know how hasty you will be today. Oh, yeah, it should be. I'm fine on time. Okay. Heal. There you go. Should have done Loot. it later, but whatever. Um, yeah, definitely does survive. Yeah. Merc plus Ballista, so we're fine. Mm hmm. All right, frame infiltrates for sure. What can go wrong? I guess Kyle dying is a concern. All right, we need to. That's the ballista. That's what the elixir is for. Okay, so you just go here. I'll just give you like a non range weapon for more baits. Uh, you don't need this iron and lance right now. Mm, don't really see any need to do any of that. Just put this. Yep. Kyle. Elixir. You want to have this phone as well, right? You might as well have this phone. I think so. He can actually back up one square two in order to make it so that only one person can attack Kyle, but two people can attack Dussel. I like that. As opposed to the other way around, yeah. which is what we're current. Yes. I think I'm not even going to attack an enemy with Dussel unless it is totally like safe, because Kyle don't want to suffer from success. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, so Josh is going to go here. I'm assuming he does not mind Javelin plus Hand Axe. If Franz like, barely dies, then I think Josh is completely fine. Yeah, Joshua should be fine. He has like way more HP. Mm -hmm. And then Ephraim infiltrates. Yeah, Ephraim just goes here. I guess the Shaman can move. I didn't think of that. Ooh, um. He's Luna. We're fine because like... they can't counterattack us, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, how much does he do in a crit? I mean, Ephraim has like Shaman. a lot of luck as well. He only has 13 Ugh. crit. Only 13 crit? Yeah, oh, easy. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> easy. And then. Right, yeah. He has like no hit too, like 49. He's like 9. Yeah, he's never getting hit here. So we're gonna leave this uh, javelin guy to get the horses layer. And no matter what happens, no matter like where the merc moves or where the shaman moves, we should be able to kill with this cav. We might be in range of Baron, but I yeah. don't know, just like live Baron. I don't it's know a longbow range, I don't really care, yeah. Oh, I can comfort the range of leaf so it doesn't get used any ever. Ooh, I there guess. you go. I mean he's not gonna get attacked this turn, probably, but Yeah, like I on if we were smart we would have put the javelin up top, right? <laughs> I guess so, yes. And then countered the Luna Shaman just for more. Uh huh. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, we didn't think of that. Yeah, we did not. Well, I'm never moving these people out of position. Um... At some point, we'll have to think about. Uh, oh, no. Tana can totally just survive a hit. Yes, you can just fly to the Eye of Storm. Maybe grab an elixir somewhere, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We unfortunately did not uh, get the secret book, I think. Oh, no. But whatever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, Amelia does not die to ballistas, so let's just do nothing with Dussel, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. All right, end the turn. No, right. not loot. It's so tight. This would be rough. No, we should be fine, though. Honestly, like kind of digging the loot bait. Okay, we have to kill that guy or she's got a, suffer from She's success. got a lot of defense, as it turns out. Loot? For like yeah. what she's supposed to have, yeah, for sure. Actually, just in general. What, on average? Like, I think. Yeah, just period. Like, she's got a lot of defense right now. Like, she's tanking so many attacks. <laughs> so many weak attacks. I mean, I think the key factor is she's not getting doubled by the mercs, which I don't think is something we can take for granted for loot. Her speed yeah, is not no. supposed to be this high. All this right. is a pretty speed bus loot. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, 17, man, get out of here. Yeah. What are you doing? I bet Amelia could take this guy. Maybe not well, twice. Maybe not, he might crit, yeah. <laughs> maybe not twice, but... One... Should get hit once, actually. Alright, plan worked. Bait onto Joshua, or did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's honestly don't mind that either. And the physics. Probably still gonna just kill bog him up even harder. That's there so we funny. go. Okay, last turn. Alright, last turn. Uh... We just gotta kill this guy, right? And then... Yeah, then the whole kinda... corner is safe. It's kinda sus, actually. Uh, so we can horse this layer if we want to, instead of Virginia. It might not hit. In okay, which case, we need loot to finish off somehow, which is going to be really uh, awkward. I think just use Regin Leaf, like, no nonsense, right? <laughs> True, probably. And then we're still not in range of the Killer Bow or anything. What do you have again? Okay, he's Killer Bow, Lance Reaver, Longbow. One, two, yeah, this three. Guy, what are his other stats? He's kind of, like, rough. He's isn't massive, he? especially, I think this is boosted by Lunatic yeah. Mode, but... Even outside of lunatic mode, this guy is just so insane. He's huge. I think it's like, what the heck? In Japanese, he just had like iron weapons <laughs> or steel weapons. They were Seriously. like, you know what? That's not good enough. We need more. We need to make him like an actual threat here. Mm -hmm. All right, want to kill? Maybe that'll make the merc not attack him. I think they check if they can see if you you'll break your weapon if they want to attack you. Uh, 
Okay. I think they see if it's one use on another. Okay. We oh, just we can just send anyway. it again, right? And again, we didn't equip the thing. Oh um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess. Well, so. horse slayer equipped is a. Uh, well, oh no, just double the merc. <laughs> like oh, <laughs> that no. might not survive the turn anyway. Okay, don't do that. Uh, Amelia she doesn't have a Kyle support, does she? Amelia Jab. Whoa, hold on. Amelia Jab. Oh, Mulder's in this way. Ugh, gross. I mean, Tana can't really help. Although, if we know she survives a Ballista, I guess it's possible to do this. But she, does she survive a Ballista plus Luna? Uh, probably not. But I didn't think Luna would exist after this turn, but you're probably right. Uh, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Just, just, just take the here. whole operation, like slide to the left, you know. Well, I guess no, he he would see attack on Ephraim, right? Who? This whole thing is actually kind of rough. Is it? It's just if we just keep loot here and we just don't kill the merc, I think we're totally fine. Wait, attack from north and then just use Joshua. Oh, I guess I was kind of using the like we can kill this pirate. Well, I mean, Tana can just do that, right? Like she has Axe Reaper. Well, she doesn't one round. Oh, um, Amelia help or no? Amelia doesn't have to sword. I guess she can trade one from Joshua, but I think she wouldn't do yeah, enough. Yeah, but then what? Needs 13 damage. I think Garcia might have to come in here. Yeah, Amelia would not do enough damage. Garcia would, though. If we have Garcia hit the guy with an Iron Axe, we can probably get there. If he misses, yeah, good. it's kind of sus it, all of a sudden. If he misses, come up with a new plan. If yes, he misses, okay, right? let's like... come up with a new plan. Good job, Garcia. Never mind, right, is we did it. It is right. Yeah, that's plenty. 16. Was it 19? Wait, 18. Was it, was it 18? 18 plus? No, it was 19. Okay, we're good. We're ah, good. there we're we good. go. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay, we... Oh, boy. Did we do the math, though? 29, yeah. 10, 29 is more than what Tana has. Goodbye. Get out of here. Yeah, come on. She has 29 HP and more than zero defense, yes. so... It's not Souls the Force. You just actually have Bossa's stats, boss stats in this game. Oh, seriously? Okay. They had negative? No, they had a lot of use with like zero. <laughs> zero and something. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Cal gets his phone, and we just kill like the cap most likely to go for him, I guess. Um, so Luke can just sit here and just do nothing, and then the Merc won't do anything, well, probably, right? Don't we need to do the oh, wait, uh, from Luke North, Joshua? From North. Combo? Oh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. But what if Joshua misses? Uh, oh, good also, point. is Luke like fighting as Luna? Oh, she is. She survives with one HP. Just don't get crit. Yeah, we need the. We might need to heal here too. Do we? Just oh, I guess the ballista, ballista can kill her. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Super ballista. Oh, Joshua. Wait, does Joshua find a Luna? Uh, Joshua survives Luna, but not Luna plus ballista. Ugh, nobody does. I yeah. guess like we could just pick him up with a. What's her name? Amelia. What Joshua? Yeah. And then we. Uh, okay, so we pick. What's she gonna do? Get doubled by Ballista? Come on, get out of here. But then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Amelia she goes get out here, of here. But then the javelin yeah. guy can get Amelia, right? Oh, she can go. No, she can go in. She can go in the armory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess. All right. Time to not get hit. I guess. And she has low avoid, but like whatever, you know. Uh huh. Bye. What a tight there chapter. We go. Yeah, and then he'll loot. Yay. Get in here. Escape with Amelia, and we're good to go. And right. there's like an ambush spawn that yeah. got secretly put in the <laughs> wrong deck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, go here, rescue, go in the armory, and then finally... I... There was like one cab we wanted to attack, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's a way that it becomes worse for Kyle, but all this... The strongest guy is the guy with the steel lance, I guess. But yeah, just like kill the Iron Knights with Dussel, and then I think you're right. Because like we're gonna face this attack anyway. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think there might be like another guy, but hopefully it's the Iron Sword guy that goes for him, and he's totally good. Uh... Yeah, there might be some like nerdy unit ordering thing that happens, but I, outside of that, attack. I don't really yeah. see. There you go. His most accurate was the Silver Axe. Yes. Okay. Not bad. final turn. Oh, Helia. There goes nothing. Ooh. Oh, no suffering here. I think this is a cab. He attacked before and then got healed. Yeah, I think so. Kyle. Looks like a good physic cab. Defense, right? That's Hoggies. the shot I want. Hey, Hoggies. told you. Got him. All right, we're going to face two near lethal attacks this turn. Hopefully, oh, they're no. near lethal, like we said. Yeah, we already cocked out the math on Tana, mm -hmm. right? And then. Nice. Ooh, even better. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no sense of drama here. Everyone just lives. Hey, loot doesn't face out. crit. What the heck? Doesn't she have? Does she have a good luck? Apparently, I guess she does. Yeah, not too bad. I was wondering. Yeah, what if she faces crit? Hold <laughs> on. What if she did, huh? But she's just superior. like the last action, you know. Oh my god! It's like on all the games with Divine Pulse. If like someone dies on the very last turn of a defend map, you actually can't Divine Pulse to save them. Oh yeah. You just lose. Yeah, it's just nah. Deal with it. Your unit is gone now. Hope you yeah. didn't save over your previous save. Wow, this uh... surprise casual mode. Yeah. Well, we gotta go. We sure held on. I mean, if this continues, Ephraim will have you. Yeah, no. I think he'll just walk out. He's got a Lance Reaver, though. Don't be so sure. Well, I guess we still have that one use Axe Reaver to scare him with. Mm -hmm. Retweet to scare Baron. You must now take to the seas. We must now take to the sea. We got the. Well, we lost a Night Crest unit, but we kept the Night Crest, right? And then we got the Hero Crest. Did Joshua level up? He did. He did level up once. I think he's still level 9. No, he should be 10 now, right? No, we'll see. We'll, we will certainly see as we get to Phantom Ship. Known as the hardest map of the game, but honestly, can it be any harder than this map? I don't know about that. I think this map is harder, for sure. <laughs> Possibly. Well, there's, there's Okay, there's time pressure on the other one, too. But I yeah. think this map is harder. There's actually <laughs> a lot of time pressure on getting La Rochelle, but we'll get into that next time. Yep, see it. See y'all.